This is Will Lindsay Yada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed photographer and just an overall creative visionary, the one and only Misha Buckner. Hello, Misha, how are you? Hey, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, Misha, are you kidding me? You are so freaking amazing. You know, I told you offline, I've done, I'm so grateful, over 800 interviews with artists all over the world. And Misha, I've never met anyone like you. What I love so much is not only your unapologetic authenticity, but I just wanna dive right in first and foremost. Where were you born and when did you realize that you had a love of visual art specifically? Mm -hmm. And then photography later on. Yeah, so I was born in Maryland, but my parents are Caribbean. And so they did a lot of art from back home, wood carvings, things like that. And so I drew, but I found out I had a passion for photography when I was in college and I did a body painting and I had to capture it in some way. So I found a camera and I never put it down. <laughs> I freaking love it. Um, you also combined your backgrounds, your beautiful backgrounds through and with your art with a Ameri Mary Kari made. Am I saying that right? You got it. Talk to me about what it was like for you to just to create that, what a be well, I have so many beautiful emotions about it that I'm getting a little bit clamped, but I want you to talk about how it all came about. Yeah, so I, of course, when you're kind of falling into a passion, you want to figure out what your route is. And for me, I knew I just wanted to create, but then seeing a lot of other creators and how photography in specific is very white dominated. I wanted to kind of find my own being and be able to put my message out there. So I used my background to kind of create my branding, my colors. And then with my actual work, I love doing things that revolve around people of color. I try and emphasize culture. Um, a lot of series that I'm working on putting out are gonna be around just different cultural aspects and highlighting people in different parts of themselves. I love that. I also love that you are providing, Misha, a safe space yeah. for creatives, but for also Dare I say, I'm thinking about the young Mishas of the world who can literally go on your website as I'm looking at it and looking at these beautiful, mainly, and I love it, women, <laughs> but of all shapes, all sizes, all beautiful backgrounds and colors. And what I see is joy. I see it, the transcendent universal language of joy, love, community, and I just think, I'm curious to know, do you think about the young Mishas out there in every aspect sure. of your brand? Definitely. Um, I feel like my website and my portfolio on like my socials, they try and target exactly what you said. So I'm glad you picked up on it. But I do a lot of work outside of that. But with my portfolio, I want to <laughs> convey that message because it's hard growing up when you don't look like everyone around you or you hear subliminal messaging. And so I want to, especially now like we've had Black Lives Matter movement, all these different things coming up. I want people of color, people who feel or look different to know that they're just as valued, that they're entitled to happiness, all of that. I love it. And also I, what I love, Misha, too, is I want you to touch on it for our audience. Be, besides, beyond your beautiful portfolio of work, what other project, can you, can you mention any partnerships or projects that you're currently working on and partners you're working with? So I'm in an ongoing relationship with a smaller business. They're, they're not a smaller business, actually. They're an amazing business. <laughs> they're called Aurora Tights, and our missions kind of align. They're goal is to put women of color, people of color in tights that match their complexion. And I'm sure being on Broadway, you've kind of seen how the shades are a little limited. And so that's their goal and to keep people in lifelong relationships with athletics. And so with them, I've done a lot of photo shoots, just 
capturing people of color in tights, in sports, being happy, graceful, all of that. And in the future, I'm working now that we're a little bit past COVID, people are kind of getting vaccinated, feeling safer. I'm working on a second body painting series, this one a little bit more in depth, hopefully, where I can capture people based on their experiences, whether it's happiness, sadness, if I can highlight what they might think of as an insecurity, like um, I'm blanking on it, but kind of no. like skin tags or alopecia in beautiful ways, things like that. Absolutely. And you, you, what I also love about that is you are through yeah. your beautiful heart, but also your beautiful business savvy and creative mind, you are providing a beautiful space for people to celebrate things about themselves that sometimes there's the, where, 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 they, where people might feel like the world negates it, but you're saying, you know what, that makes you, that gives you your superpower. That's what makes you different and authentically you. It's your superpower. And I just love that you, you build it up instead of trying to hide it. That's exactly where I'm trying to keep building and keep pushing that message of you're already whole. You don't need to keep building. Misha, you're an incredible person, an incredible business savvy human, a true artist with a capital A. I could speak with you forever, but I want to let our audience know for more on the incredible Misha Buckner. You can read more about her right below this video and look at all of the links because you're about to blow up. I, I know I speak on behalf of everyone at Phoenix, how grateful we are that we have you just as about, just as you're about to blow up. I mean, you're like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> you, there's no one else like you out there, Misha, truly. I really appreciate it, thank you.